There's actually a whole story behind that. Um, a lo very long time ago, I was just a little toddler, and we're in Toys R Us, you know, family trip, mom and dad, and uh, this little plastic set of clubs, I think they were like a Ninja Turtle clubs or something, you know, and uh, I ran up to him, pulled out the driver, kicked one of the balls over into the middle aisle and just striped it down the center of the aisle. And uh, my dad just picked up one of the boxes and put it in the cart. And I played with those probably for two or three years with wiffle balls in the backyard before I got a real set. <laughs> there wasn't even time to think about it, really. I had, like I was telling you before, I had I had uh, a lot to get done, and in two days before I would be in New York at Bethpage Black, um, so it was really my emotions were excitement and an adrenaline rush. I I was uh, just doing things as quickly as I could, and didn't really concern with myself with the, my game. <laughs> it was really just about getting there. Once I got there, then I then I settled down a little bit, and I started thinking about okay. How am I going to do this the best I can right now? You know what? It, there was two times, actually, really. Um, first off, my uh, my first autograph experience was pretty interesting because I, I walked right by this guy. I had no idea that he was talking to me. And my dad, who was caddying for me, actually had to tap me and say... Hey, that that guy wants your autograph. You know, go sign it for him. You know, who don't be huh, rude about it. Right, right. I of course ran back over and signed it. And I was like, oh, that kind of felt weird. You know, I'm like this guy wants my autograph. And that's on my way to the range, and I get out there and I start hitting balls five spots down from Tiger Woods and three from Jim Furyk, and you know, Kenny Perry's just down the way. It's that was really the first. Most fun I've ever had, probably. Just going to the golf course. Damn. The really cool thing about the whole experience was going in the locker room. I mean, these guys. I mean, they're like kids at camp, you know, in the locker room, hanging out and, and just talking and getting stretched out and joking and ragging on each other. I mean, you never know. They go out and they compete for millions of dollars, you know, every week. UCSB has a really, you know, one of a kind environment, you know, with, with the beach and, and the crowd that that draws and our community here. It's, uh, it's really been an excellent, uh, an excellent time for the last two years going on three. But uh, as an athlete here, it's a little bit different. Um, I've actually had people uh, let me pass them in line and at uh, the 7-Eleven just down the street here. You know, hey, Gaucho's first, you know, go ahead, man. And that's, that was really kind of a, a neat experience in my first year to just have a, you know, a golf shirt on and have the guy stop me and talk to me a little bit. Oh, what do you do? Oh, I'm on the golf team, you know. And, hey, that's cool, man. Good luck. Play well. We're rooting for you. It just really made me feel like, uh, you know, the community's out there supporting us, and it's great. Uh, never really felt gifted in the sport. I just compete as hard as I can.